Photo Summit fans, today we have something new for you. We are using the new Nikon um, V1, which is their new mirrorless camera. So Nikon's finally come out with a new mirrorless camera. Happy for um, everyone who you know has been waiting for this. Uh, this is the V1, which is the version with the viewfinder, by the way. Um, we have the two lens kit, as you can see here. It does come as a one lens, one lens kit if you would like to. Um, this is the 10 to 33.5 to 5.6, and this one here is a 30 to 110, and actually it is also 3.8 to 5.6. Um, pretty great. Uh, does autofocus, uh, full time autofocus while in video. Uh, nice small body, as you can see here. Very nice. The lenses are about the same size. Um, many, many Nikon fans are hoping for an adapter so that they could use their standard DX lenses onto this. Um, cross your fingers. Uh, but all in all, so far it looks pretty good. I like the solid metal body of the lenses here. Nice uh, metallic kind of outside. This camera itself feels like a tank. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Um, not too keen on the controls yet, but you know, maybe once I get used to them. But, you know, obviously that'll be something for everybody. Obviously it has a record button right here on the top. Um, does have an external flash, or I apologize, built-in flash. I haven't really figured out how to get that one up. Does have its own mic, has a decent sized screen. Does have the sensor so that once you put your eye up to the viewfinder, it turns on. So that's pretty neat also. Uh, so, you're actually watching right now video footage using this camera. But we're going to go outside now and... Uh, for part two, show you the video quality. All right. Welcome to part two, Photo Summit fans. Um, I am once again using the Nikon V1. Uh, just wanted to show you the video quality here. People are gonna start to think I'm uh, patriotic. <laughs> I always show the flag. Uh, I think it's kind of nice. I am using this in spot metering. Um, so far, the metering system to me is a little off, um, but I'll show you a third part with the metering in, um, you know, standard mode, the value of metering. Um, you know what, maybe I'll just show that to you now because this is kind of flickering about. Part three. Okay, hopefully much better. Ah, okay, yeah, we can move around. The reason I put it to spot metering, I'll show you, is when I went to go onto the flag, it gets really dark. And, you know, because it's our nation's flag, I wanted it to be bright. And hopefully this thing kicks in soon and meters properly and, okay. A little bit slow in the metering system there. People are going to start to think that I like this camera. I actually do really, really like the, um, pardon me, the microphone on this camera. I am not using anything external. I am using a built-in mic. Um, I think that's pretty great. By the way, I am using the 30 to 110 lens. Um, one other thing that I noticed about this camera, there is no hot shoe, so you can't put on an external flash. So that's a bummer. Um, I do like the fact that they borrowed the um, lens assembly kind of from uh, Olympus where it actually locks in uh, so the lens won't just come you know open in and out without you unlocking it. That's kind of neat. Um, the lens assembly to me looks very similar to the Pentax Q um, which I did like that lens. Very nice. Apologize for jumping around here. Here, let's watch a car leave. Goodbye, car. Um, focusing to me is a little bit slow, but the screen on the back is crystal clear. Um, I'm really hoping the video comes out just as clean because this is gorgeously crystal clear. So hopefully, you guys have a good idea of what this is like. Um, expect another Sony 
um, A65 video coming up soon. Um, by the way, this is being shot at 30 frames per second. Um, I'm starting to notice that every time I shoot something at 60 frames per second, it doesn't come out very clear on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to experiment with that. I'm going to shoot my next A65 Sony video at 30 frames per second to see. Um, I didn't want anyone to think that this was a bad camera, nor if it had bad quality, so I did shoot it at 30 frames per second. Um, and hopefully that does make a difference. Alright, thanks a lot from the Photo Summit.